Thank you so much for joining us for our 930 show here on Facebook Live. My name is Gabby and today we're going to be doing an awesome experiment for our STEM literacy for young learners. So this is an awesome event for uh, individuals preschool through second grade or anyone who loves bubbles. So we're going to start off with a little story, Bubble Bubble by Mercer Mayer. One day, as I was walking, I bumped into a bubble. It wasn't just one bubble, but lots of bubbles. And they weren't just any kind of bubbles. They were magic bubbles. So I bought a magic bubble maker and said goodbye. I started blowing bubbles magic bubbles everywhere. Then suddenly something strange happened. Uh-oh, I thought. I had to do something quick. So I blew another bubble. And that took care of that. At least I thought so. But I knew what to do. I blew some more bubbles. And that took care of that. I wasn't worried one small bit. I just blew another bubble and that took care of that. I popped all the bubbles one by one. Blowing bubbles made me tired so I went home. Anyway, everyone knows there's no such thing as magic bubbles. and thank you guys magic is a little bit in bubbles or maybe just science so today we have an awesome activity that you can easily do at home all you need is a bowl or bucket of water dish soap and corn syrup if you don't have corn syrup you can also try corn starch which works just as efficiently we have a really easy recipe that can help you get started you're gonna need three cups of water, half a cup of soap, and a quarter cup of corn syrup. Pretty easy. So we went ahead and we pre-mixed the solution in this bucket here. And we're gonna do some little experiments and talk about bubbles, make some observations. So we have some pre-made bubble wands here, but if you don't have any of these at home, you can use something like a pipe cleaner, wrap it around to be a nice solid shape, it needs to be connected on all sides. And you can easily dip this into your bubble solution and get started. This is something that you can do with friends at your house when you're home on a Thursday. So Chloe, why don't you come on up and we'll experiment with some bubbles. You can use these and catch them from six feet away. Wow, what kinds of observations do we have? Are your bubbles always round? When do your bubbles pop? How long will they last? That was a round bubble wand, but you can see this one here is a star. Do you think it'll be a round bubble still? Let's try it out. Bubbles are always round. Why do you think that is? Well, bubbles, <laughs> need equal surface tension all around it. So a circle is the perfect size to have constant pressure pushing out. You can try with different shapes. You can try with giant bubble wands. That one doesn't work so well. It's always an experiment. Let's try a heart. Thank you for joining us here at Arizona Science Center. Check back in at 1 p.m. today for another awesome demonstration and have a good rest of your Thursday.